Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how long it took me to start seeing changes when I decided to lose weight. So if you don't know me, my name is Louise and I weighed 269 pounds. I'm 5'7", so that made me morbidly obese and I decided to lose weight. One of the biggest questions I have got is how long did it take for me to start seeing physical changes in my body? How long until I decided to see my belly going down? Because that's a big thing. Most people always want to target their belly. No, no, no one likes their belly. Everyone wants a flatter stomach. So in today's video, I'm just going to be going through how I looked at each stage of my weight loss. I'm going to be providing pictures and all of that fun stuff so you guys can get a realistic perception of what it is like to lose weight and kind of how long it can take you to lose that fat. You see all on Instagram, six weeks to flat abs and you think, you know, you just get that unrealistic expectation that as soon as you start losing weight, oh no, my earring fell out. <laughs> Oops, there you go, sorry about that. You get this unrealistic image in your mind of how quickly you should lose weight and when you don't lose weight that fast and your belly doesn't go down that fast you lose hope and you give up so my video i want to show you that if you stay persistent you will see them gradual changes over time and i want to show you what my gradual changes look like and kind of show you how i stay motivated so yeah before i go any further i would really appreciate it if you haven't already consider subscribing and click the bell button and also if you find this video helpful leave a like and leave me a comment down below, anything you like. Let me know if it helps. Leave me an emoji. What is your favorite emoji? You can maybe pop that down there. Thankfully, when I decided to lose weight, I decided to document my weight loss on Instagram. So I made an account and I just used it as my own little personal diary. I literally just posted my before pictures. I posted how I felt. I posted my progress pictures. I literally just used it to document my weight loss. And I only did it for me. I didn't do it for anyone else. I didn't do it to get a following or anything. I just did it to keep myself accountable. And I'm really glad that I did that because one, it did keep me accountable. I felt like I was doing, when I was doing my weekly weigh-ins, I just felt accountable that, you know, I was going to have to post it. And it was fun and everything. So I I do recommend if you are on a weight loss journey yourself and you haven't already just to make an Instagram account or document it somewhere because now looking back on it it's amazing because I can just you know go through it so I've got two accounts so you can follow both of them <laughs> but the one I'm using now is Louise Journey 2.0 if you're not already following me go follow me on there I leave the link in my description all the time so so what I'm gonna do is go right to the beginning of my old Instagram and I will be putting the pictures up on the screen so when I'm talking and reading the captions you guys can see along with me and also if you guys are curious as to what I ate whilst I was in the middle of losing weight. I did go through a phase of posting my meals on that Instagram. So if you wanted to go check that out and kind of see my weekly weigh-ins and all that stuff, that was Louise's Journey XO. So my first ever post was a picture in the gym toilets mirror. So I've started my weight loss journey and these pictures will be my before photos. I'm so excited to work hard and bust my ass off to get my body back. My goal is to lose 100 pounds. Let's go get it. I and mean, how cool it is because I've lost that 100 pounds and that was posted on the 9th of January 2020 and then I also posted that I was updating my before and after pictures and I posted ones where I was wearing that I did take pictures of me on my bar and knickers you know the famous ones that I'm always posting on on my YouTube and my Instagram now but I was not comfortable to post that when I still look like that I was not there yet to post it so I'd only posted on this is the same day that I put I took the pictures in my bar and knickers but I just took it in clothes. <laughs> so on the 19th of January, I took a transformation picture. So this is literally 10 days into my, my journey. And I said, pick on the left was taken on Wednesday, pick on the right today, which was on a Sunday. Don't know about you, but I'm seeing the most subtle changes. And then if you look, the only difference I can see now looking back on it is that the bottom half of my stomach is maybe like a little bit more in. In my first week of losing weight and eating healthier, eating in a calorie deficit, all of the bloat was going. Like I was feeling better inside myself and I wasn't feeling as lethargic. I was I didn't realize that I was constantly bloated so when I was starting to lose the bloat I was feeling slimmer in myself and my stomach was kind of lose slowly losing the bloat so I think that's what I was feeling in this picture but that's literally only 10 days into me losing weight that I was already feeling that two weeks into my journey I posted a progress picture and here it is progress pic two weeks and a 13 pounds difference between these two photos can't wait to see myself in six months <laughs> Obviously, a lot of it is water as well, so that's not all fat. A lot, I was holding a lot of water. This progress picture was three weeks, so the first picture is obviously when I first started my first week into my journey, and then the second was the third week. You can see slight changes, nothing crazy. 
all right it's not it's not mad changes but what i was doing is every few weeks i was taking these pictures and i was comparing them i was literally sat there like a little detective and i was zooming in and just looking at the slight if you look under where my my boobs are there's a little bit more of a dip than what there were before and like my back i was looking at my back holes look like they've started going down a little bit like just little things like the sizing in my legs and all of that stuff plus in myself i was feeling slimmer anyway and if you look from behind i feel like you can see quite a big difference on the 28th of january I posted three belly shots all in comparison one at two weeks three weeks and four weeks and then on this caption I said I know I'm always comparing pics but I find it so motivating and sometimes the only way I can see a difference in my body it keeps me going and honestly makes it all worth it first pick is the second week into me losing weight when I had already lost nine pounds and the last pick was today my fourth week into my journey and a total of 17 pounds I obviously have a long way to go but it feels goddamn good seeing these photos and my mum tum go down each week it looks like it's getting a bit flatter the bloat is definitely going and yeah I think I'd lost about 20 pounds in that picture and this picture of my bellies is a six weeks difference in the belly shot so obviously the first picture was at closer to the beginning of my journey and then the second picture is six weeks in and obviously so you can see there's quite a big difference there and then this belly shot is nine weeks difference as you can see the belly is slowly going this is took taken nine weeks how many weeks how many months is nine weeks so nine weeks is March like three months three months that's the difference I could ha I had in three months and this is what my whole body looked like difference so first picture is obviously January and the second picture is March as you can see in the second pictures, my waist has gone in so much, especially from behind, I can see the big difference. Obviously in my first picture, I was wearing long sleeves. I was really unconscious, like really self-conscious for my arms. So I only ever wore like long sleeves. But by this point, I started to feel a little bit more confident wearing, a, getting my arms out. As you can see, it's like slowly and slowly, I've started to lose like the fat and it's just a gradual change i kept myself motivated by comparing the pictures continuously and then this picture here so this is january versus july so this is the progress i made in six months as you can see the belly is going it's, it's getting there it's getting flatter and flatter over six months so you see from behind the back rolls are going the the waist is coming in you know look at that smile on my face it's just so fun to see the difference when sometimes when you just look in the mirror you can't see it all the time. Sometimes like you just have days where you feel like you're making no progress. And the best thing, at least for me, to keep myself motivated has been to compare pictures. So this is like an eight months difference. I just wanna quickly read the caption I wrote on this picture. I said, anything is possible if you want it hard enough. In January, 2020, I decided it was time to change my life. I wanted to be healthy. I was sick of feeling low and lethargic, out of breath all the time. I had regular heart palpitations, heartburn, indigestion. I had low confidence and self-esteem, a lot due to how much weight I'd gained and I felt I was far too gone to change but let me tell you no matter how much you weight you have to lose you're never too far gone you can definitely make changes and put your health first health is wealth and that is a hundred percent fact 10 pounds or 200 pounds you can do it don't follow diets take diet pills etc make healthy sustainable lifestyle changes if you do something to lose weight make sure you only start it if you know you can carry on doing that for the rest of your life and you will be successful but yeah so that is the difference within eight months this is 11 months difference this is literally in the same year so since i started maintaining what i've just tried to do is build muscle whilst like main, maintaining like a low body fat. So then this picture here is obviously the picture of my bar and knickers, what I took at the beginning of my journey compared to a picture I took in December 2020. So this is almost a year's difference. This is what I was able to achieve in one year of just counting my calories and exercising, not like any specific exercises. Guys, don't listen to anyone that says that this workout will give you abs, right? It does not work like that. You can't target your stomach and just burn fat off your stomach. I know a lot of us would love that. A lot of us would love to just keep everywhere else, keep our thighs and our butt and only lose our stomach, but you can't target your stomach. These videos that say that you can do these specific exercises to burn fat off your abs, they're lies, like they're selling you a dream. It's not gonna happen. The only way you can lose weight on your belly is by being in a calorie deficit and actually persevering in that calorie deficit for a long period of time, long enough for your body to start burning fat on 
on your stomach. Belly fat just seems to take the longest to go. But it is different for every single person. Some people might be leaner on their stomach, but hold body fat in their legs. And other people hold it more in their stomach. It just depends on a person's genetics. But I promise if you stay in a calorie deficit for long enough, it will eventually go. You just have to persevere. But yeah, so this picture is a picture comparing like 11, almost 12 months and then this is January versus February. As you can see, I got a lot more leaner and I lost a lot more body fat, built a bit of muscle. So this is me now. That's how much fat I've lost. I'm not looking to lose any more fat. I'm just looking to build muscle now. But that's just how my journey has been. Obviously, I feel like I've lost weight fairly quickly. It's been like a year and a half and I've lost quite a lot of fat and I've built quite a lot of muscle. So I'm really grateful and proud that I've been able to do that. Everyone's journey is gonna look different. Everyone's weight loss is gonna look different and people might lose weight differently over their body than I, I have. I hope that has giving you guys like almost like a realistic expectation of what you can achieve by being in a calorie deficit and maintaining healthy habits and moving your body because obviously I exercise I lift weights so obviously that's going to play some kind of part especially in building muscle and filling up any kind of loose skin and also give you guys a bit of motivation when you feel like that you're not seeing results just persevere carry on because I'm telling you it is the slightest smallest changes that you won't even be able to really notice unless you're taking pictures take lots and lots of pictures take body measurements get clothes that maybe don't fit you maybe a size down and keep trying them on I'm telling you guys it will eventually go doing ab workouts and certain workouts to specifically target your your abs all it's going to do is build strength in your abs which is great but it's not going to like target the belly fat that is such a big misconception that if you do ab exercises it's going to somehow make your waist smaller it doesn't work like that your abs is a muscle just like your biceps are a muscle the more times you bicep curl the bigger your arms are going to get and that's the same as, as your waist but what you guys should remember is abs are made in the kitchen they are made in a calorie deficit so yeah i hope you guys found that helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my journey all the way from the beginning till now basically and how my body has changed over a relatively short period of time I don't think a year and a half is a long time you can't fail if you never give up if you uh, have a bad day that's not a failure it's only a failure if you decide to let it stop you from carrying on yeah so keep going you guys got this yeah and i hope you guys uh have a lovely day and i'll see you in the next one like this video if you enjoyed it and found it helpful and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one i said that already <laughs> bye